A new study out of the UK found people who suffered from mild cases of COVID-19 still had immune cells in their bone marrow months after the infection. It included 19 patients and did not look at people who suffered moderate or severe symptoms. But the co-author of the study said that these cells will live and continue to produce antibodies for the rest of the person's life. Immunotherapy scientist Dr. Leo Nisola is with us now to talk a little bit more about these findings and other things related to COVID. So doctor, it seems like that that's not a lot of people, 19 people, but are these findings significant? Are they a game changer when it comes to what we thought about COVID and long-term immunity? Absolutely. That's our adaptive uh, immunity at work. What we're seeing here is that the B cells are creating memory uh, response to the coronavirus. And before, we didn't know how long that memory will last. Now, what we are seeing from this uh, recent research is that it will likely last over 12 months for those who have an original infection with the virus. Um, now, when you add the layer of the initial in infection with the immunization for COVID, uh, what we are seeing uh, so far, the evidence shows that we have a much more robust uh, immune response. So we have been hearing about, you know, possible booster shots, though. Do immune cells differ between those formed from vaccinations versus those formed in the aftermath of an infection? Yeah, so what we are seeing right now from, from the research with COVID is that uh, immunized people um, are capable of producing long-lasting immunity against the virus. However, uh, folks that have had a original infection with uh, the uh, virus um, when receiving the, the second uh, dose of the vaccine provo provoke a more robust um, immune response in a way that uh, makes us think uh, at this time that um, people that have had infection uh, with COVID-19 have received at least one shot of the vaccine will likely not need booster shots in the future. Now, those of us who have not uh, had uh, COVID-19 and only had uh, the vaccines currently uh, available in the United States will likely uh, uh, need in the future uh, a booster shot. Okay, I um, want to ask you about another study. Uh, research published in JAMA earlier this month found that organ transplant recipients may not get protection from a COVID vaccine even after two doses. The CDC director acknowledged this yesterday saying that people with compromised immune systems should still wear masks even when fully vaccinated. Explain why they are not protected and are masks really the best option when it comes to preventing COVID-19? Yeah, that's one of the complications of easing restrictions is because we all have different immune responses and we have a very large population of individuals in the United States who are struggling with their immunity, whether they are fighting off a more serious disease like cancer or they have a compromised um, immunity due to an autoimmune disease of, uh, or any other condition. Um, what we are seeing is that um, individuals that have uh, a baseline immunity problem uh, also have a problem in developing new antibody uh, uh, against uh, COVID-19 and developing those B uh, memory cells, those uh, uh, T, uh, T cells and uh, B cells that act on the adaptive immunity that uh, occurs after either the infection or the vaccination. Now, the low antibody levels are not uh, completely surprising uh, to those who um, actually uh, have seen patients uh, that were transplanted or patients who suffer with uh, immune uh, disease or in immune conditions. Uh, I think so, that, uh, you know, the, there's that a message sense, in there. Mm -hmm, sorry, go ahead. In, in that sense, uh, to protect those individuals who are not developing immunity uh, robust enough to, pr to protect themselves, we should be more conscientious about um, wearing a mask when we go to interact with people that we know have uh, an immune condition, but also making sure that we are all immunized to protect those who can't uh, get the benefits from the vaccination.
Yep, doctor, that is exactly what I was going to say, um, that, you know, this should sort of remind us all that even if you're healthy and you're well vaccinated, you know, there's a reason why you're still being asked to wear masks in public spaces where there are a lot of, pe a lot of people gathering. You really don't know what the, the condition is, the situation, situation is for other people. I know a number of cancer survivors who are particularly concerned because of that, because they're vulnerable. And so they keep wearing their masks and they would like you to as well. Um, in general, the general year. Exactly. Um, there, could, <laughs> there could be another COVID vaccine available by the end of the year. There are two European drug companies that say uh, phase three trials are underway for their versions of the COVID shots. Do we know anything about those vaccines and how they might be different than what we are already using? Well, it's, it's good news um, um, all around. In case these studies actually prove to be uh, uh, successful uh, and in case the companies decide to um, uh, apply for a license for, for the drugs uh, here in, in the United States, but also more importantly to the rest of the world. I think we're vaccinating people here and have been at, at a very uh, uh, rapid pace. Um, now, I would hope that, that these uh, companies that are producing vaccines right now and manufacturing them actually start uh, communicating with uh, folks from uh, countries that are struggling to find vials for, for, for the vulnerable populations that they have there. All right, Dr. Leo Nisla, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.